Hey, how's it going? Simon Page here with simonpage.com. In today's video, I want to give you a really quick tip on how you can increase the size of your swipe file. Now, if you don't know, a swipe file is the uh, collection of emails, email patterns, uh, copy, etc., that you use to get inspiration from. And Generally, your swipe file is going to be seeing something on the internet and saying, hey, that looks good, and you grab it and you put it in your swipe file. Now, it, it can be stored in a Google Doc, you can keep it in an email, you can put it in a Word Doc, however you want to keep these. I would highly recommend you keep them sorted by category. So if like you have uh, a folder called swipe file, you have a document in that folder called email swipes or headlines or, you know, and so on and so on. So growing your swipe file is a great way to, to get ideas. When you find yourself stuck with writer's block, block and you're trying, writer's block? Uh, uh, <laughs> that one's gonna go to edit. <laughs> when you find yourself stuck with writer's block and you're not really sure how you wanna phrase something, you can go do a search through that document and get some ideas. Well, I decided a long time ago, years ago, that I was going to build a swipe file that I would be able to just search for a keyword or a phrase. And I build my swipe file by subscribing to people who I like the way they deliver their message. I have an email address, and this is what I recommend you do. Um, you can make it your, if you don't have your own domain, you can make an extra email address at Google. Uh, or if you do have your own email uh, or your own domain, you can just make it a different name than yours at your domain. Uh, I like to use Quincy because Quincy gets me their email sequences. So Quincy is for sequences, and uh, it's, I just like you know word games, right? So um, so I have. Uh, Quincy at mydomain.com and anytime I come across somebody whose content I don't want to get distracted with but whose messaging I'm really intrigued by I'll sign up for their lead magnet with Quincy and that lets me build a swipe file of all these different people's sequences and I have their lead magnet sitting in my email box very often uh, to give you an idea um, under one account, uh, I have 880 emails, and on another, I have upwards of about 10,000. I'm going to check just real quick uh, because I'm curious. Now, using this technique, yes, you get a lot of junk, but what you can do is you can take that email address and create a filter in your email client that you keep a folder called marketing lists or uh, swipe file or whatever you want and then anything that comes to that email address you reroute into that folder and then that one folder you don't care if it fills up with unread emails right so my main Quincy account um, that I started, like I said, way back when, when I first got involved with online marketing, has 20,433 emails. And if I wanted to write something about, um, I knew that I wanted to say, uh, this is closing soon, right? Uh, I'm gonna end an offer fairly soon. So I can put into my Google or my Gmail search bar, label, colon Quincy closing soon and now I have 93 emails that I can choose from that use the phrase closing soon now I caution you you want to do this ethically you do not want to go out there and just start stealing people's emails they spend a lot of time and effort to craft those emails but you can take the messaging from those emails and craft your own Okay, so uh, don't don't be evil, to quote Google's uh, manifesto. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you got some value out of that. If you like this video, please go ahead and give me a like. As always, I will see you on the next video. Take care.